Okay, we are in um, the money textbook. Um, so you should grab that. If you don't have that, pause the video, go grab your money textbook. Um, we're going to be looking at objective two. Um, that starts on the bottom of page one. Um, objective two is calculate overtime earnings based on regular rate of pay. Um, we'll also be looking at um, holiday earnings as well. Um, so we'll go, we got six problems to we'll go over here. Um, there's some similarities to objective one, but um, some another step or two we usually have to do in each problem here. So uh, let's take a look at um, problem number seven here. Um, it says um, Miss Meshcat earns $17.50 per hour as an emergency services dispatcher. If she works on a holiday, she is paid twice her regular hourly rate. How much does she earn if she works eight hours on a holiday? So it's still kind of that, you know, from before the wage times hours equals the gross pay. Um, but in this one, uh, because she is, gets paid twice her hourly rate, we take her wage and we times it by two, okay? And then that times the eight hours. So her new wage on a holiday is right here, 17.5 or $17.50 times two is 35. So she's actually getting $35 an hour. Take that times eight, you get $280. Okay, so that's a holiday pay problem on just a single day. So that's one of the easier problems in this objective. Um, if we turn the page. Um, at the top of the page, I got kind of a formula here for how we find overtime pay. Um, there's kind of two things that you have to take into account when figuring out the total pay when overtime is involved. Um, first, you do regular pay just like we did in objective one. Okay, so this first um, set of brackets, you just take wage times regular hours, okay? Then this bracket represents the overtime pay, where standard overtime is 1.5 times your regular hourly pay. So the holiday problem we just did was twice or two times. Regular overtime is 1.5 times your regular wage. Okay, so if we're figuring out overtime pay, we take the normal wage times 1.5, and then we times that by however many overtime hours a person worked. Then we add those two together. We add the regular pay plus the overtime pay equals the total pay. So the best way of doing um, learning this is just by doing a couple problems like this. So number eight, it says the table shows the hours. Um, Maha worked last week as a carpenter's helper. Um, she earns $8.40 per hour. When she works overtime, she's paid 1.5 times her regular pay rate. How much did she earn last week? So we're looking at it a week, okay? It gives us regular hours for each day and gives us overtime hours if she had any on each day. So the first thing I did was add these up and there's five days at eight hours a day. So that's 40 regular hours. Okay, now let's look at that first bracket which is just what we did in objective one. She gets paid eight, 40 an hour or it's 40 hours. So her normal or regular pay is this 336. Okay, now we look at the overtime. Okay, she gets paid 840 normal pay. Now it's overtime, so we times it by 1.5. So this is 12.6 or $12.60. And we gotta multiply that times overtime hours. So she worked 1.25 overtime hours on Monday and 0.5 overtime hours on Wednesday. So a total of 1.75 or one and three quarter hours of overtime. So we take that overtime wage, which is 1260, 
times a 1.75, and that gives us an additional $22.05. We add that to the normal pay of 336, which we got up here, and we get 358.05. Okay. The next two problems are very similar to that, so let's take a look. Um, number nine. Um, Ms. Montgomery works as a registered nurse. She earns $25.50 per hour, and she's paid 1.5 times the regular rate of pay for overtime. Last month, she worked 160 hours plus 7 hours of overtime. So 160 normal hours, 7 hours of overtime. How much did she earn in the month? So this is the same problem that we just did, except the hours are more because it's a month. Okay, but we still we look first at the regular pay. So regular wage is twenty five fifty, normal hours one hundred sixty. We multiply them. This is her regular pay, four thousand eighty dollars. Now we look at the overtime. Her regular wage is twenty five fifty. We times that by one point five, and that gives us this. 3825. And the problem said she works seven hours of overtime. Okay. And that gets brought down here. So she gets for her overtime, she gets paid $38.25 an hour instead of the 2550. Because 2550 times 1.5 is 38.25 times seven. Because she did seven overtime hours. So that's an additional $267.75. We add that to the normal pay of 4080 we get this $4,347.75. Okay. Number 10, again, another similar problem, a lot like number 8. Um, Ms. Madan is a machinist and works 40 hours per week. She makes $20.60 per hour. Last week, she worked two hours of overtime. Again, her overtime pay is 1.5 times her regular. How much did she make last week? So normal, we take the 20, 60 times 40. So $824 of normal pay for that week. Overtime, we gotta find the overtime wage. We take the 20, 60 times 1.5. So that's $30.90. Problem says she worked two hours of overtime. So we times that wage times two. So that gives us an additional $61.80 plus the $824. So we get $885.80. Okay. All right, two more problems for objective two. Number 11. This one's a little different than the other ones. Um, it has to do with a holiday. Um, this person is a computer repair technician. She works eight hours per day, Monday through Friday and earns $22.10 per hour. It says last Friday was a holiday and she was paid twice her usual hourly rate. How much did she earn last week? So now your problem may look exactly like this or it may say the Monday is the holiday and Tuesday through Friday is the regular. Either way, you separate them. So you take your regular days, okay? So in this case, Friday was a holiday, so Monday through Thursday is regular. So she gets her regular wage. Now be careful here. Monday through Thursday is four days at eight hours a day, so it's 32 hours. So you don't use 40 here, it's 32. Take the regular wage times the regular hours. That gives us 707.20. Then her normal pay is 22.10. Now on a holiday, it's double okay or twice as much meaning times two so i take 2210 times two is 44 dollars and 20 cents they make on a holiday and they work eight hours on that holiday so that's an additional 353.60 add them up we get 1060 dollars and that should be 80 cents it's cut off there um, and then number 12, last one of, of 
objective two. This person makes $21.90 per hour. They're paid 1.5 times the regular rate for overtime. It says in August, she worked 3.5 hours of overtime. In September, she worked 11.5 hours of overtime. How much did she earn for overtime work during these two months? So the difference with this problem and the other problems is they're only looking for the overtime. So we don't have to do nothing with the regular pay. So if we're only looking for overtime, we first got to find the overtime wage. So we take the regular wage, 2190 times 1 1.5, it's 3285. Right? Then it says, um, now we have to look at times the number of hours. So this is the wage. So this goes back to like objective one, wage times hours. And it's for the two months total. So one month, she worked 3.5 hours, the other month 11.5 hours, you add them up. So she worked 15 hours of overtime in those two months. So we take the overtime wage times the overtime hours, and we get $492.75. Okay. So that is objective two. Um, follow those steps. Um, if you have any questions, um, let me know. I can point you in the right direction as far as examples here, or I can even do more examples and post those. Um, so objective two, if you have any questions, let me know.